most people wouldn't connect our gut health to things like stress or our thoughts, emotional health, things like that. But there's a pretty strong connection there, isn't there? Can you For explain sure. that? Yeah. Yeah, this is actually one of the most interesting um, parts of gut health to me. Uh, we know that the brain can affect the gut and the gut can affect the brain. It's a two-way superhighway. Um, there are more nerves in the gut, in the digestive tract, than there are in the spinal cord. So think about that for a second. It's an information-packed system. And uh, the brain can affect the composition of the microbiome, and the microbiome can affect how you think and how you feel and uh, your emotions. Uh, it's, uh, it's very interesting. Uh, one of the studies that I talk about that I find most interesting, even though it's not the nicest of studies, is uh, they took infant monkeys and they separated them from the mother at birth. And they looked at the microbiome before, they looked at the microbiome after. And what they found is that the composition of the microbiome in the infant monkey shifted uh, after the separation from the mother. And you started to have less lactobacillus and bifidobacterium, which we think of as the good beneficial bacteria, and more Prevotella species, which um, when you look at the proportions and, and this specific kind of combination, later on in adult, in the literature that we have uh, that correlates with psychiatric and mood disorders in adults, we see these same patterns. And so we know that trauma, stress, PTSD, these kind of things that actually create a uh, emotional burden on somebody, particularly early in life, can cause changes in the gut microbiome at that time, which can lead you to have problems later in life. Mm -hmm. So this is part of the early imprinting or early programming. You might hear some of these buzzwords that we talk about. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, one of the coolest facts that I learned about was that, you know, we all know about oxytocin, the love mm -hmm. hormone. Um, and uh, we know that there's a particular bacteria in the gut, a lactobacillus ruteri, that can actually create increases in plasma oxytocin levels. So, you know, the microbiome actually can help you uh, be more affectionate too. So, take care of your gut. <laughs>